It's Transformers 96 here with another review. This time I'm going to be reviewing the McDonald's Minion toys from the new Minion movie. So yeah. So overall, I've got them just about all of them here. The only one I'm missing is the karate one or whatnot. Um, and that was the one I won the least, so I really didn't mind. Overall, I wasn't going to get these. You know, my, my little brother loves Minion, so I, I was looking for them for him. And I, I wasn't going to get them, and I got a bunch for him. And then I found out, of course, that number five, the Caveman Minion, um, uh, uh, cursed and you know, was a big thing on YouTube, and then of course, um, and then I, then when that happened, I decided I got to get the caveman. So I started looking for the caveman and decided why not just get them all, you know, while I'm at it. So I did actually start collecting them all. If I had just from the beginning wanted to collect them, I could have found the caveman in stores because um, I bought it for my little brother before I knew that it cursed, and then also. Um, I could have gotten the karate one too because I got it for him as well. So overall, because of my lateness in getting started with collecting these, I did miss out a bit. And I did have to buy the caveman on eBay. Um, I did buy two though, so I've got one mint. I'm going to open all these and review them. So yeah, so let's get started. Just going to, I'm going to, first of all, I'm just going to go over the one that I have open here. This is the pirate minion. It does not talk, unfortunately. It is damaged. But uh, first of all, just going over the little minion guy. Overall, he's really cute. You know, he's got some nice texturing on the belt there uh, and there's the on and off switch of course um, unfortunately with these minion toys they're really just they're, they're all limbs are sculpted onto their body um, but with the Despicable Me 2 toy line from McDonald's had a really nice selection of minion toys a lot of really fun ones and most of them had arms that were hanging off of their body and they weren't just completely sculpted on to save money you know of course they don't have any articulation all right let's go on to this Let's see, this is number nine. It's the kind of British guard minion. All right, looking pretty cool here. I've, I've, I've opened all these because I've, you know, uh, messed with them with my little brother. So I haven't actually, uh, so even though I'm opening um, them now, I, I do know all of them. So it's not quite on the spot review, but still looking very cool here. Uh, I like the big hair. Of course, this is probably the largest one. The vampire is pretty big too, but I, I think this is probably the largest one. Um, the only thing that's a little disappointing is that the belt is only painted on the front. It's not painted on the back, which is quite lazy, as well as the boots would have loved them. Uh, well, well, would have loved them to be black instead of just being red like the rest of his costume. And the ban banana has this big split in it, same thing. They're all, you know, of course, cut in half, um, but it's noticeable on this banana thing. You turn it on, and I, you, like, just hit them, you know? I, I don't quite know. It doesn't really work when you shake it. Maybe. Oh. There we go. It, oh, let's see. On the, on the charts, it says what it does. Uh, minion laughter. Minion laughter. Oh, these are pretty cheap, I must say. Let's see if I can get in England. Hold on. There we go. So he laughs. He has two different laughs and says England. And... Alright, I hope they don't keep talking. So they are pretty um, hard to get to talk, I have to say. Alright, we've got an Egyptian one, number six here. Alright. As you can see, looking pretty cool. He's got a little smirk. I like the gold um, for their uh, their uh, eye lens, whatever you want to call it, um, their goggle. I think that's pretty neat. You know, neat idea in the film at least. Overall, pretty nice. You know, it's pretty simple, but the uh, the costume for this Egypt guy would be pretty simple anyway. So there's really nothing they could have done. And I'm glad that they did, of course, paint his feet yellow instead of doing what they did with the red one there and just painting the feet the same color as like uh, what he's wearing. So let's turn it on. Okay, so he says okay, uh, and then pancakes. Very nice. So they each have three fla phrases. Typically, the the first two phrases are kind of nonsense or laughter, and then the last phrase is them actually saying something. All right, number twelve. Oh, I I should shut these off before I start. All right, so we've got the England minion that's already on for some reason. Alright. Very nice, the kind of Eskimo minion. Overall looking really cool. Unfortunately, they didn't paint his shoes the same color as his... Or they did paint his shoes same color as his outfit. Would have liked the black shoes instead. Because I really don't think they were brown in the movie. I don't quite remember, but I don't think so. As well as it would have been nice for the belt to be painted. Although, I'm not quite sure if that's painted. Um, he's still talking. Uh, the uh, I like the gold on the... Um, 
goggles again, but I do like that this time they, they did the strap a different color, although of course the strap, the brown should have started over here. It is still nice that they did um, paint it differently. I would have expected them just to go throughout it. Also the texturing on the um, the strap here is really nice. It's got like a leather type of look, which is pretty interesting, I have to say. All right, let's hear what he says. All right, so this one. Banana! All right, so he says banana. <laughs> He laughs and says, yaw. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is kind of like the hippie one, I think. All right. As you can see, looking pretty cool. Kind of got that hippie shirt on. It's obviously very long on him. This is from the scene where he, like, just takes it off a, um, uh, a, a kind of hanging where wet clothes are hanging to dry. He kind of just takes it there. Overall, looking pretty neat. Nothing too special with this one. Pretty simple expression as well, and uh, pretty plain, but but neat. And he's got the bare feet, which is kind of neat. <laughs> All right, so we've got laughter. Bello papagena. Bello papagena. I love that. You know, this is obviously Stewart, I guess. Bello papagena. Bello papagena. <laughs> All right. He's also supposed to say oh, but for some reason this one's not going in order. All right, let's get into it. Now we've got a classic one. This is Bob, classic. As you can see, looking very nice, arms up, which is kind of neat. He's obviously very small. Bob was the smallest of them, uh, of the three minion, you know, main minions. He's got two different color eyes, which is, makes him pretty unique. Wish that he was like holding his teddy bear or something, but no problem. So he says, Bello. La la la, and eh. Bello la la la, and eh. Okay. All right, now, the kind of what I would consider the main minion of a minion movie, Kevin. Really neat, I've always liked Kevin's look from the Spickle Me movies. I kind of like the long ones with a little bit of hair on top. He kind of looks funny. Very neat, pretty classic, just arms crossed, nothing too special. Wish that they painted the freaking uh, shoes black again. Another thing that just kind of annoys me. Did I... I think I tossed it. Alright, let's see what he says. Alright, so we got laughter. Another laugh. Hey, buddies! Hey, buddies! I don't know who's... I assume that that's this one talking. Got the jungle minion, the prehistoric minion, I guess, from the beginning of the movie. As you can see, looking pretty nice, pretty classic. He's wearing a kind of homemade goggle thing with uh, leaves, as well as kind of a leaf skirt thing. Uh, the expression is kind of strange, but it's it's funny as well. Alright, so... Ho, hey, who, look out. Alright. Minion laughter. Yum, yum. Alright. Who is talking? Maybe it's the vampire. All right, so here's a pretty neat one. I like the vampire. What well, the color, at least on my camera, looks so much different than how it was in person. I don't know if it's gonna come across like that in the video, but it's it's a bright purple. The, on camera, it looks bluish to me, um, but this is bright purple. I like the fanes, of course, and this one's really quite nice. Wish that they would have painted the gloves and shoes, though. But overall, it does look pretty neat. All right, let's see. That laughter, okay. a s second laughter, and ta-da. Obviously when they're surprising the Dracula and kill him. All right. Oh, there's crap on my desk. All right, this is the classic Stuart. All right, of course, playing his signature guitar there. He was into the guitars in the movie. Uh, the expression's kind of weird, especially for a classic one, you know? Those two look pretty classic, kind of representations of their own, um, of their characters. This one, he's kind of like singing, I guess, but he looks strange with that little mouth. And again, would have liked the shoes to be painted. Is this his? Yes, it is. Or, oh, he only does two things. Pretty interesting. <laughs> he just kind of sings. And now to the most interesting one, for sure. And even with his foot out, he does still stand up, which is kind of neat. 
now of course we have the um uh the cursing minion uh the caveman minion this is the one that has been cancelled so you won't be able to go out and get this at mcdonald's and i think parallel bucky is what he's trying to say but it comes out as uh, wtf that's it there we go there we go so you know what the fuck he kind of says so uh, overall I think that's pretty funny it does actually sound like it like I you know my little brother had that toy before I learned about the the fact that everybody was saying that he was cursing and I didn't notice it so I didn't notice it just on my own but once I knew about it it, it does actually sound like it in person so obviously I would recommend the cave minion uh, just to anybody who's a collector of toys just because it's something interesting um, obviously having a cancelled figure so yeah overall some fun little guys in my opinion the ones from Spool Me 2 were much better and much um more interesting and better detailed uh, while well, these are a little bit more simple but considering some of McDonald's you know recent toys these have really been great uh, overall I haven't collected McDonald's toys in a long time because they're just not good you know back when I was a kid and I was actually buying McDonald's toys I really loved them you know they were really interesting they did lots of cool characters nowadays they really do just do ones that have gimmicks and stuff which um, are really annoying they're not quite action figures anymore so yeah so overall there's my little review of the minion series minus uh, the karate one thanks for watching